In November of 1897, Campbell's Illustrated showcased nearly 50 Hinsdale homes, titled Hinsdale the Beautiful. In the early 1900s, Hinsdale was considered to be one of the most desirable suburbs of Chicago. Nearly a century later, 120 years to be exact, Hinsdale is still considered exemplary today. One detail that stands out about Hinsdale and which represents why I believe the area has been so widely sought after for over a century is the neighborhood culture. Many suburbs have various amenities and even better geographical locations, but few are able to tie a vibrant down square. Beautiful plotted lots, a deep history, and social cohesion together as Hinsdale does. It continues to adapt and grow while keeping its rich history present on display. With its vibrant town center, beautiful homes, and high-ranking school systems, it is easy to see why Hinsdale continues to be one of the best places to live in the outskirts of Chicago. The village of Hinsdale is a beautiful place, no matter what neighborhood or corner you choose to walk. The village has a wide variety of homes to choose from. Let's take a look. The village comprises many exponential architectural styles, including Italianate, Queen Anne Victorian, Colonial, Renaissance, and Georgian. Many of the homes in the area today were built between 1940 and 1970, and various historic homes date back into the early 1900s. While most homes were built in the mid-20th century, there is still plenty of interest in new builds. Coined Teardown Central in the 1980s, the village has seen many new enormous mansions since then. The highly desirable village has led to 30% of historic buildings being demolished for new construction. Its residents are torn between trying to prevent any more damage to the city's vintage character and hindering natural progression. Homeowners state that while historic homes have character, they may not appeal to modern families, and rehabilitation would not yield any greater interest for them. As recently as March 2020, the village and its residents are faced with the fact that multiple residents of historic homes would like to tear down and build new. While there are over 100 homes valued at well over a million dollars, the medium home price in Hinsdale is just under $800,000. However, you will find many starter homes in the low 500,000s. For a price like that, and being in one of the best villages and school districts in the country, it almost sounds like a steal. As a whole, the community ranks its academics and its education as a top priority. Let's check out Hinsdale's school system. Hinsdale's teens belong to Hinsdale Central High School, the third best high school in Illinois. Out of the top best three schools, it is the only one to not have selective admission. Thus, may consider Central one of the best very public schools in the state. In 2013, the Chicago Sun-Times ranked Hinsdale Central as the top suburban high school in Illinois. The school has over 100 clubs and offers some of the best academic competition teams and athletic teams in the state. Most recently in 2019, District 86 received approval from the community for a renovation plan with a total cost of $140 million, which would upgrade both of the district high schools, Central and South. The district has started the implementation of the plan, and both high schools are going to receive extensive upgrades, including new pools at both high schools, totaling $25 million. The Hinsdale District No. 181 contains many top-ranking elementary and middle schools. The village has added many public green spaces to its community, with the most notable being Catherine Leggy Memorial Park. Is that the park all the way down there? Yeah, there you go. That looks fun. It's all of the park. Dang, that looks fun. Come on, Eva. Catherine Leggy Memorial Park is a 52-acre park that was originally purchased by Alexander Leggy in 1915. The land was to be used as a weekend getaway home for him and his wife, but sadly, she never saw its completion. In 1924, Catherine had passed away, and Alexander donated the plot and the built structure in 1927. The lodge was donated to the city in 1972, and today it hosts many weddings and events for the village. 
The park also has an 18 hole golf course, sledding hill, nature based playground, lacrosse field, tennis courts, and even a dog park. West of Hinsdale and Clarendon Hills is the Hinsdale Golf Club. Around since 1898, the club offers great fields and active facilities. It has its own pool and tennis courts as well. Another favorite park for many is Burlington Park, just north of the original Hinsdale train station. This triangular shaped plot of land has welcomed residents for more than over a century. Originally named Railroad Park, it has undergone many lovely improvements over the year. It is also perfectly situated between two beautiful iconic Hinsdale structures, the Hinsdale train station and the public library and memorial hall building. Many beautiful parks are dispersed throughout the village. No matter what side or corner of the village on which you reside, you are going to find beautifully manicured parks with enjoyable playgrounds. As the old proverb states, it takes a village to raise a child. And this community is committed to maintaining centers that offer its residents and youth the very best. The community house, as its name suggests, is at the heart of this town in other ways. The community house offers recreation programs, counseling services, art programs, active adult programs, and other social services. You are likely to find inviting neighbors and supportive community in the village. For 45 years, the village has held Hensdale's Fine Arts Festival at Burlington Park. It is known in the area for having some of the best local artists display their work every year. Since 1977, the community has also held a farmer's market every Monday from June to October. It brings 25 vendors and farmers from around the Midwest to share their food with residents at Burlington Park. The event has many old vendors who have been serving the community with the very best produce and food for years. Hensdale also has its own local hospital, formerly known as the Hensdale Sanitarium. You are sure to find the finest of care at Hinsdale's Hospital, only a few blocks away from downtown Hinsdale. The hospital has evolved and grown throughout the years. What started as a 15-room main house is now a 400-room hospital today. Today, Adventist Hinsdale has earned a number of nationally recognized award and safety grades, particularly for its state-of-the-art career center. Hinsdale's historic downtown consists of 74 properties, spanning more than six blocks. Its square is a great example of what you can expect from an upscale community. Let's take a look. It has everything you might need to pamper yourself. It has a wine store, cute boutiques, spas, the very best in dining, quick eats, and more. In fact, many restaurant businesses and community favorites and staples of the district. Located on 35 East 1st Street, Fuller House is named after one of the very first settlers of the area. It is based in an iconic building that was once a hardware store. It is a rustic tavern that has character inside and out. It is recognized for its variety of craft beers, great American food, and its atmosphere. Another longtime restaurant is Page's Restaurant, a real mom and pop diner with incredible food. It has served the community since 1981. Giuliano's Pizza is a family-run pizza spot right in the heart of downtown. Opened in 1998, the restaurant has expanded since. Simply because of the increase in demand, they offer high-quality delicious foods and a diverse menu. It is a kid-friendly place with a cute diner. At 8 East 1st Street, in an iconic building that was once a theater, is the Italian Pujolo restaurant. The beautiful interior lends itself for an impressive bar area and a beautiful dining area. It is a quiet place where you can enjoy wine and delicious food. The staff is very pleasant too. You can find bread and coffee at Cafe La Fortuna. It serves the very best coffee beans from southern Mexico. La Fortuna Hensdale opened in 2012, but its history dates back to over a century. The La Fortuna brand dates back to 1908 in Chiapas, Mexico. They have their own plantations and they are still run by family members today. La Fortuna personally cultivates and hand picks and roasts their beans daily. Hinsdale boutiques offer a great variety, like Alexandra Blue, Jay McLaughlin, Sweet Williams, Hinsdale Furries, and Stockholm Objects, to name a few. If you are looking for pampering and are in need of some self-love, 
10 Friends Blow Dry and Style House, The Salon by David and Williams, and Zazu Salon and Day Spa. If you are looking for smaller, more unique home decor, you can find them at the Yankee Peddler. They also have great pieces from designers for gifts and special occasions. If you are looking for jewelry and accessories, Razney's Jewelers and Kelsey's Resale Boutiques are likely to offer you something that you will like. You can also find great pieces and gifts at the ArtQuest Gallery, Phillips Flowers and Gifts, Jane's Blue Iris, and Hinsdale's Flower Shop. If you would like to know more about living in Hinsdale, please reach out to us at theralphieandryanshow.com. Thank you so much for watching.